catastrophic wildfires marking the end of summer in Santa Cruz County last year. Destructive flames, enveloping smoke, and the remnants left behind. But before all that, a radical new method to tackle the threat of fire was unveiled. PG&E's public safety power shutoffs. PSPS events first started back in 2019. At best, they were chaotic. This power grid is so outdated. It needs so many upgrades. Uh, and the, the amount of work that, they sh that pg and &E should have invested over the decades, uh, it's a failure. We're sort of in a learning pattern with them. I think we're getting better at expressing what we need. Um, and I'd like to see the company do more around um, helping local businesses and residents who lose um, either food or whatever it is during those shutdowns to make sure that there's some kind of reimbursable program. Housing remains a regional issue in all four cities, and the state is now threatening to crack down on municipalities who aren't meeting housing quotas. The pressure is felt most acutely in Capitola and Watsonville, where mayors say there's really nowhere else to build. Watsonville Mayor Jimmy Dutra says his town is so dense, the only place to build is upwards. Two housing projects in the works will be three to five stories tall. There's also more low-income housing being proposed. But a culture of nimbyism, or not in my backyard, can impede progress. There have been council meetings where we've, that we've tried to build projects, and we have had hundreds of people come to protest the building of a, of a housing project. In Capitola, the mayor says the city is mostly built out, but the saga of housing at the mall still continues. Part of the challenge, the complex is owned by seven stakeholders and discussions are at a standstill. They say working together on this issue and others will be key going forward. We are from a small community and a small county and that we collaboration is the only way we're gonna be able to um, begin our recovery um, as we move out of this pandemic. Another added challenge to cities because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the budget crisis. The economic impact has meant tax revenues for cities has gone way down. Governments have had to make cuts to staffing and programs. For Santa Cruz, the pandemic has sucked the life of big economic drivers like the boardwalk and beaches, which means less in transient occupancy taxes. They're now looking at structural budget cuts for the upcoming year. It's going to be a long, a little bit of a long haul to get up out of this and back into um, positive or at least uh, revenues that are sustainable and can take care of some of our PERS obligations and other things. So it's going to be a long recovery. Cities in California now anticipate a combined total of nearly $7 billion in general revenue shortfalls in the next two fiscal years. And that number could keep going up. Reporting in Santa Cruz County, Josh Cristianto, KIU News Channel 546.